Hello, it is the DE Diva, aka the Delaware Blogger, and it is another episode of Podcasting Your Purpose. And today's title is Themes and Trailers for Your Podcast. Now, you know, first impressions are last impressions what people see when they first meet you, what people hear when they first land on your podcast is so very important because you know what? It sends a message. It tells people, you know, it sets the tone. It sets the mood. Think about going on that date, right? And you showed up and there was flowers and candles and jazz music and all that. It made you feel good. So that's how you want people to feel when they land on your podcast or if someone sends a link to your podcast and they want you to hear it. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Themes and trailers for your podcast. Now, your identifier. Do you want to go by your name? You know, Antoinette Blake, the DE Diva, aka the Delaware blogger, your nickname, Tony, your your uh, podcast title, you know, blog your way to a business profit. However you want to be identified, make sure that that is clear as well as your artwork. Remember, we talked about your artwork, which you can create or have it created for you. But if you're creating it yourself, you can do it on Canva or Crello, just using the uh, pixels, 3,000 by 3,000 pixels. You want to make sure that it fits really nice, that little post-it stamp. And again, less is best. It doesn't have to have a whole lot of pictures and stuff. But check out other people's artwork. But don't use other people's artwork. Just like don't use other people's themes and don't use other people's trailers. You have to make it your own. Remember, it's your voice. It's your vision. It's your podcast. So you want it to be unique. Are you going to have music as the intro or some sound effects? If you're going to have music and or sound effects, make sure that you own or that you purchase the rights to them. Now, there's some great sites out there. I found some uh, good music at a site called Melody Loops. But guess what, guys? There are a lot of free sites out there as well, especially during this pandemic. And I found if you like sound effects, if you like nature sound effects, head over to the Yellowstone National Park website because you know what? They are giving away all of their sound effects free. And if you like things like bears and coyotes and bald eagles, I've got a list here, a three page list you know, you can have a geysers, hurricanes, oh my God, mountain lions, you know, depending on what your podcast theme is, some of these may work. Okay, check them out. Fire, wildfire. I don't know. But I got three pages here. If you want to check it out, it's the Yellowstone Sound Library. So that might be pretty cool because I remember yesterday, somebody actually had a question about drowning out sounds while they are podcasting. And you remember the tips that I provide you. And also I provide you in my book, Podcasting Your Purpose, a workbook. Yes, yes, yes. This is a 42 page workbook that includes a schedule and all kinds of tips. But one of the questions on the on the Facebook group page was, how do I eliminate background noises? And I talked about creating that fort. Remember taking those two chairs and putting a comforter over it to give you that quiet sound, or when you have your mic, you've got this buffer screen there that, that cuts down on the noise also. And if you want, just go with the flow as long as it's not too bad. And that's why these sounds, you know, these sounds from Yellowstone might be a good thing for your podcast. So again, your sound, your themes is going to make it your own. So Make it memorable. You know, we think about your your theme song for sitcoms that you used to love, you know, the Jeffersons, the moving on up. I can't sing, so I'm not going to sing today, especially it's a Monday and I haven't had my coffee. Hold on, let me get some coffee. Speaking of Monday, I hope you had a great weekend that you were able to create some episodes for your podcast because I know you're ready to launch. I can't wait to hear it. Make sure that in the comments, not only are you subscribing to my YouTube channel, you thumbs up these videos, you're sharing these videos, but you're also going to leave me the links to your podcast so I can listen to them as well. 
So theme songs, the Jeffersons, MASH, Twilight Zone. Remember those just four keys on the on the keyboard? Um, what else? I don't know. There's so many. I love Lucy. You know, theme song, something that's going to make people remember you. That's what the theme song that you want to have. It's like a hook. That's what the trailer is. The hook is what brings people in. Think of that Harlem hook. You know, you just grab the person and bring them in. So that's what you want to think about. And today I'm going to tell you how to create your hook or your trailer on Anchor FM. But make sure that you're thinking about just about one minute, two minutes maximum. But on Anchor, it's about 56 seconds. It's like a minute, but you want to cut it short. So remember when you're creating your theme or your trailer that it's a it's you. It's only you. It's always about you. You know, it's about you. It's your podcast. It's your theme. So decide how you want people to um, be remembrant of your podcast, whether it's your your picture your theme song, your words, whatever the case may be. You can listen to other podcasts, but please do your own thing. I always say, do you boo-boo. And I talk about that not only in the podcasting your purpose brochure web book, but also in my basic blogging tips for beginners. That's right. I'm still selling the set for $26. So if you are interested, make sure that you head over to my email, info at ablakeenterprises.com to place your order. I'm going out tomorrow to mail about five more copies. So get yours done today. Get your order in today. So let's talk about creating a trailer on Anchor. And this is going to be for, this is going to be for everyone that wants to know about creating the trailer, having done it and why they should do it. So first thing, log on to your Anchor FM account. If you have not downloaded the app, do it on your smartphone, your Android, or your iOS device. When you go, you'll have your account. Click on your podcast at the bottom right of the screen. Click new. And I'm going to leave all this in the show notes, but I'm going to go through it. Once you hit the red record button, you'll have up to 60 seconds to record your trailer. I always cut it short to about 55 seconds because I don't want to get cut off right at the end. You won't want people to, it's like going to that cliff and then you're falling off. So (laughs) give out 55 seconds so that you can take it out with some music. So 55 seconds worked. You can add background music that Anchor provides, calm music, jazzy music, you know, nostalgic music, whimsical music. Choose a theme that you like. Now there's some that, you know, just... You don't need to choose because, again, you're only got about 55 seconds. So if you want to use their music or perhaps you can choose your own music, but make sure you own it. Like I said, then you can publish it now or publish it later. Once you publish it, Anchor, the great thing, will create a video and that video can be shared on your social media platform. And not only should that video be shared your trailer should be shared as well. So if you are launching, you started your podcast, but you haven't launched it yet, create the trailer, let people know what your podcast is going to be about, and then share that on all your social media sites to get people excited for the launch of your new podcast. Now, those are simple, um, you know, steps to do it. I've got the full list here. If you want that, again, send me an email um, to info at ablakeenterprises.com. I will send you the printable. I will send you the instructions on creating the trailer as well. But remember, it's your brand. It's your voice. It's your vision. And if you want to learn more about podcasting your purpose, again, I am still offering the 60-minute mini coaching session where it's heads down, deep diving. You get that planner, pre-launch, post-launch, and the book uh, for $77, that web book. And this book not only tells you why you should start a podcast, because you know why you should start a podcast. Everyone is podcasting. Everyone is sharing their voice, their vision, their mission, and you need to start one as well. But it talks about what is a podcast, why start a podcast, the power of podcasting, planning your podcast, which includes your content and your schedules. Remember that schedule that's on there? Podcasting like a pro, the hardware, the software. Are you going to use a mic, a USB mic that's going to plug right into your phone? Are you going to get a mic like a Blue Yeti? Whatever the case may be, you want to make sure that you have a mic that's going to give you a little bit more mm, 
unless you just really just record right from your phone. Hold your phone this way. That's another tip. When you're recording on Anchor FM, if you are talking into your phone here as opposed to like this, it gives you a clearer sound. So hold your phone up to your mouth this way as opposed to putting it up to your ear that way. So again, podcasting promotion tips. How are you going to promote your podcast? Social media, a website. Do you need a website for your podcast? If you don't have a website for your podcast, create a blog for your podcast. And remember, we talk about basic blogging tips in my book because you don't want to rely on a free platform because free, although it's good, you want to use those free platforms to drive people, but you want to use those free platforms to drive people to your website, to your blog, to your brick and mortar. Because when you're free, people sign up. Remember, when people go to Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and the like, they're going to those sites to sign up for them. They're not signing up for you. So you want to have a way for people to land on your podcast and all your podcast directory and and notes and all of that and you can't really rely on these free social media platforms but that's another story for a different day talking about podcasting for profit monetizing sponsorships even bartering during the pandemic so podcasting hosting plans whether you go with anchor or or elite radio conversations whatever elite conversations radio podcast again that's all in the podcasting your purpose book if you want to include, or if you want me to include the basic blogging tips for beginners, together that's $26. I mail them out each week. And again, if you are interested in the mini 60-minute uh, consultation, uh, mini course, I'm coaching session. More coffee, hold on. Yeah, it's Monday, it's late, but whatever. Um, let me know, send an email to Antoine. I'm sorry, send an email. See, I need more coffee, hold on. I love Mondays, but I'm kind of discombobulated from the yesterday's soggy Sunday. I hope you guys had a good weekend. So again, if you are interested in learning more about podcasting your purpose, make sure you stay tuned. Keep subscribing to my YouTube channel. Thumbs up this video. Share it with your family and friends. And you know what? There's a comment here. Let me check it out. YouTube. Yes, YouTube definitely. Hey, Reg. Good morning, dude. Yes, YouTube has royalty free music definitely definitely so yes that's a great thing to do thank you reg for that he's a fellow uh, anchor fm podcaster as well so yes get royalty free music you do not want to have any issues with copyright music that's why i did not play the theme song to i love lucy the jefferson sanford and son twilight zone none of them i didn't want to play that and get in trouble so again Create your trailer. Once your trailer has been published, send it as a link to get people excited about your podcast. And that way it keeps you out and in front of everyone. Because again, two weeks ago, last Saturday, Saturday before last, Apple has you know published their 1 million podcast. So people are growing. And also I read this weekend, made my heart feel good, that educators and schools are embracing podcasts for their students. And that's what I talked about on some previous episodes on private, not only having private podcasts for schools, but also having podcasts for classrooms so that kids that have difficulty, may perhaps difficulty learning how to read or difficulty comprehending the written word, sometimes auditory is better for them. So give them an option, especially now that we're in this new um, digital world. It's not new. We've been here for a minute, but for a lot of teachers and students and even parents, it's new to them. So again, if you are interested in learning more uh, about my offerings, please make sure that you send me an email. And thank you, Reg, again, to info at ablakeenterprises.com so that I can connect with you and help you podcast your purpose because we all have a voice, we all have a vision, and guess what? We can literally change someone's life with our podcast. So enjoy the rest of your Monday. Tomorrow, I'll be back with a new topic. I think we're going to talk about SEO and your podcast, that search engine optimization. When it comes to uh, promoting your podcast, there's some great things that you can do which is one of them is this is creating the trailer and sending it out. 
like using keywords and all of that other good stuff. So have a beautifully blessed Monday. And until the next time, stay smart, stay safe, and stay social from a distance because I will see you in cyberspace. See ya. It's the DE Diva, a.k.a. the Delaware Blogger, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.